everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. We're not painting tacos today. Uh, before we get started, if you're new here, this is uh, Painting for Positivity. I almost forgot the name. Painting for Positivity. This is just a way for News West 9 to encourage y'all to um, stay at home. I know there are orders that are kind of like easing those stay at home restrictions, but hey, if you're one of those people and you're still staying at home, no need to fear. Hello? Okay. So we are painting um, Pixar's up the house and the balloons. This is gonna be a pretty simple painting. So if you've seen the movie, if you're a huge Disney fan, you'll probably like this one. I have the soundtrack playing just to kind of <laughs> get in the mood, but all right, we'll get started in just a second. So this is just the basic idea on how it's gonna look in the end, okay? This was just like my practice round, but okay, let's get started. So I pre-painted my canvas and it's blue, did a happy little cloud here, little Bob Ross style, but okay. So this is not gonna be your, um, I mean, of course the background is important, but I don't wanna focus too much on that. Hey, Mickey, thanks for joining. Mickey's always here in every uh, <laughs> Facebook Live we do. Okay, so I'm gonna use a, a pencil and I'm gonna map out where I want, imagine a teardrop, cause all the balloons are basically shaped like a big giant teardrop. And then you're, I'm gonna have the house probably around this area. So all of this is gonna be covered. This is probably what's gonna take a while. Okay. So I'm not doing the full teardrop, but you know, just, just imagine it's kind of off the canvas. So I'm using a rounded brush. Um, this is, the balloons are probably gonna be the easiest. So when you are painting, make sure you have every color on your palette because you're using a bunch of balloons and um, pretty simple. Okay, so also use black and I'll show you what I do. So I dip half of this in black and then I'm gonna start off with purple for example, okay? This is, the reason why I'm doing this is because the purple is what's going to give me some of the uh, shading. Okay. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to start up on top. And I'm just going to do like a little blob there. Okay. And then I'm just going to work my way down in no particular order. I am just going to, I need this paper. I'm just gonna create my blobs. I mean, this is pretty much the important part of the painting. Just do a bunch of your blobs everywhere. And you can like change the paint each time, but honestly, we're just gonna make this really quick. Did anyone head out to the gym yesterday? <laughs> I know that was like the one thing that a lot of y'all were very excited about. Get more gains. And a lot of this is gonna be overlapped. I know they look crazy right now, but once you fill this, it'll start to come to life. And if you have two colors touching each other, that's like totally fine. I've only seen up once, but I think I, I didn't want to see it a second time because it made me so sad. But it is a cute movie. It's a really cute Pixar film. Okay, I need more purple. Uh, someone asked me the other day, where do I get these canvases? You can get them at Michael's. I just go to the Midland Michael's. Uh, Walmart will also carry canvases, by the way. I, 
I would say the trickiest part about all of this is it's really, it's it's gonna be the um, the house, but um, I'll try to make it as easy as possible. And I kind of like to make the balloons smaller as I head towards the bottom right here. But you, a lot of this is gonna be overlapped, so you don't have to space out your balloons too much. Just, you know, put them wherever. Because you, you are gonna have balloons in the background anyway. Okay, let's just say I'm gonna switch to the red. And it is gonna be the same concept. You're gonna dip half in the black and then half in the red. I got a better red. I have so much paint, honestly, I'm like. <laughs> Bob Ross would be mad? Yeah, right. I love Bob Ross. He's like the king of painting. He's the best, I love him. Okay, so same thing, half red, half black. I'm just gonna go right here. Add it wherever. Hey, Delisha. Fun fact, I've never actually done a Bob Ross painting. Like I watch him, but I just, I've never actually uh, followed along or like did a tutorial. David's in the house. What's up, David? I haven't seen David in forever. Like I said, don't worry about putting two colors next to each other because they will overlap in the end. I swear, this soundtrack is like very soothing. <laughs> okay, where do I want to add this red?
That's a lot of red balloons. Okay, now I'm gonna go and basically you're just gonna repeat this process for like any color you decide to use. I would say just go ahead and use like your Roy G. Biv colors. It's been a while since I've said that, but. Okay, I'm gonna do orange. I need more orange. If you just want to do like solid colors and like not worry about the black, then you know, go ahead. And for some of these, I'm just kind of doing a half circle. So it gives the illusion it's, um, there's some overlapping. How come mine doesn't look like that? What are you talking about? You can get yours to look like this. I'm just gonna add some here and then I'm gonna overlap some of that. So I've seen a lot of uh, uh, paintings that people have done and they like to put adventurers out there and kind of write that where their painting is. I guess you can do that if you want. I'm not so good with uh, lettering, so I would just leave that out. <laughs> but if you want to write that, you can if you want to. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight for the yellow. I remember a lot of this, you want to kind of fill in all these gaps in the sky.
Make sure when you're getting paint from the store, you go for the good stuff. I mean, if you have the patience to like do several layers on your painting, then I guess don't worry about it, but. Okay, this needs more yellow. And I'm gonna go over some of these parts in um, a separate color. Ooh, I just remembered I have royal blue. I'm gonna use that instead of this ugly blue. Okay, green. This one I'm doing two different shades of green. So half green or half light green, just half regular green. So for some of these parts, I'm kind of like I did earlier, I'm just kind of stopping halfway there. Remember, like I said, you can throw in some of the same colors next to each other and it won't be a big deal. You never want to mix your cool colors with your warm colors. Your warm colors are red, orange, and yellow, and then your cooler colors. See, this is what I was talking about. This is, this is the good stuff. Okay. A little bit of that. I'll probably mix it with the other blue. Thank you. 
Okay, so for this part, all I'm really doing is just filling some of these gaps here. Almost done with this part and then we're gonna move on to the house. Okay, well, let me add some more purple just to fill some of these gaps right here. I'm pretty much content with this, I guess. It's fine. Okay. Now is the house. So in the movie, the um, I believe the strings from the balloons actually come from the chimney. So to do that, it's gonna you, you have to kind of get the dimensions right. It's not going to look exactly like the house, but let's see. Let's say the strings are coming here. The house is going to kind of come off the, uh, the page. I don't know if you could see that, but okay. It has this triangle shape for the front. I'm just going to do some of the framing here. It's not going to be perfect. I'm letting y'all know that. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect. Actually, let me do this kind of... Sorry, Bob Ross. Jelena made a mistake. Okay, triangle. Houses are tricky. Okay, let's see. I like this. Okay, because you have to get the shape of the bottom and then go up. Bob Ross would be so disappointed. He'd be like, Jelena, you, you're supposed to make a happy little accident. It's not using your eraser on a painting. I learned like <laughs> two point perspective in sixth grade. I don't even remember how to do this. Okay. And then I'm gonna have my house come over here. Okay, whatever, I'm just gonna start painting. I'm gonna use a smaller brush for this. And let me, the house has different colors, but I'm just gonna stick with like a yellow color.
Okay, so it is a little angled because you want to give the perspective that it's floating above, not like you're looking straight at it. Now to you to make some brown, brown is really just dark orange. Let's be honest here. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of brown. or the roof does have this brown shade I just want to give myself kind of an outline here. Okay, now let's see. I think the chimney is black. Let's just get the border right here. Frame it up. Hey Joe, where will you paint? Kevin, oh my gosh, Kevin was one of my favorite characters on, uh, I would always see these Wu-Tang Clan uh, memes <laughs> on, um, on the internet, like back when that movie came out. He's the best. Man, I, I tell you, I'm so bad at painting, um, humans. <laughs> Even though I know he's, I know he's an animated character, but still. Okay, this is the bottom of the house. So this would be black. And I just chose this composition, y'all, to like have the house kind of off instead of just the standard, um, I don't know, like I always see these pictures of the house and it's just, I don't really like the composition that much because it kind of looks boring <laughs> in my opinion. This is where I'm gonna put the chimney. Okay. Can you see it a little bit? There's a window up here. Like I said, I'm not doing the house like exactly how it is in the movie because I know there are different like um, colors on it. Just because I'm difficult. <laughs> I'm 
gonna switch to some white and add some highlights here. Nothing too crazy and I spilled my bottle. So there's a white frame. Jelena needs more paint. When you're using a palette, try not to squeeze too much paint because you don't want to waste it because the acrylic will dry and you cannot use it again if you paint like tomorrow. Okay, so let's just say, okay, let's just say I'm done with this. Fill this window. Okay, whatever. So the strings are white. What are you doing with all of your paintings, Alice? So um, I'm trying to work with some organizations in town so that we can do um, kind of just something as a... We're kind of, ugh, I don't know. We're still working on something to give back to the community. So I'm not like storing all these paintings, you know, at home. So they are gonna go somewhere eventually. But um, as far as whenever that happens, it could be later this year. I still don't know yet, but stay tuned. I will make an announcement whenever I do decide and I get everything up and running. So you're just gonna add some of this white paint to some of the balloons here. Okay. Just kind of brush them up. Some of this paint still isn't dry, but it's all good. Let me just hold it here so you can see. I don't even remember what part of the movie this is, this music. I heard they did some kind of experiment. What? I am dropping all my paintbrushes. They did this experiment to see like how many balloons it would take to actually lift a house. Um, I forgot how many, I just know it was a lot. <laughs> it was like a lot of balloons and they had to work like throughout the night to get all the balloons filled. And they weren't like regular balloons, like how it's depicted in the movie. I mean, these were ginormous balloons. I was like, I don't know if I would want to work throughout the night just to see a house float. I mean, it's cool, but then it's just going to go down after. Okay, I think I'm content. Okay, I know that took a while, but there you have it. Your little up home that's uh, kind of makes me want to watch the movie. I have Disney Plus, so uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. If you all have any suggestions or if you want me to paint something, um, I'm good with cartoons, by the way, <laughs> hint, hint, uh, let me know. But other than that, have a great Taco Tuesday. Eat some tacos for me. Stay safe out there and uh, always wash your hands and practice social distancing. Okay, bye y'all.